Hi, my name is Lori. Welcome to my channel. We are quilters. Last week we finished up the part of the series on machine applique and now we are moving forward in our upskill lessons to hand applique. Now before you change to a different channel let me remind you that these are lessons or introduction, little introductions to improve your skills in sewing. Don't panic, it's just hand sewing. Today's episode is just a brief overview of a variety of techniques. It, I will keep it as brief as possible. I promise. Short and sweet. Let's go. I used five books. Most of them are a little bit older to help me pick out techniques and things that I thought would be useful. This book is available in lots of thrift stores. Thrift stores are rare. This is part of a series and this one was a gift from a friend, and it has all kinds of quilting in it. Out of those books, I gleaned 17 ways to hand applique. The first way is to baste shapes grandma's way. The second way is to use freezer paper. It can be used on the top or the bottom. I'll show you both techniques. Number three is to starch base your shapes. I will show you how to do that. It's a little messy, but it is fun. Technique number four also involves starch, but there is an element of foil added to it. Needle turn applique was the first way that I learned to applique, and I thought, hmm, this is not so bad. It's just hand sewing. This example was actually done by machine, but Brodery Purse was popular in colonial times, and it is a technique that can be done by hand easily also. Technique number six, baste with a light box. This is one of my favorite techniques. I have a window pictured because that is nature's light box if you don't have a regular light box. Technique number eight, Hawaiian folded cutwork. This picture really has nothing to do with quilting, but it is beautiful. Technique number nine, inlay applique. Usually when you think of inlays, you think of wood, but it can be done in cloth also. Technique number 10, reverse applique. I found this in several books and all the examples had butterflies. Technique number 11, shadow applique. I have only seen this in books. I will have to do more research before I get to the episode. Number 12 is stained glass applique, which is beautiful, just like this picture. Technique number 13, three-dimensional applique. You know, yo-yos and stuff. Number 14, ruching or ruched applique, very 3D. Number 14 is a mola applique. I have a great example of this at the cabin that came from Central America. Number 16, wool folk art applique. This is available in kits all over the place and lots of examples on Pinterest. It goes along with embellishments. Number 17, the last kind of applique I found in the books, raw edge applique. Very folksy, very simple, and it uses your pinking shears. Well, that wraps up our episode for today. And of course, Nugget had to photo bomb just to make sure he is still popular. I told you it would be short and sweet. I promised. Mm -hmm.